for being here this morning. And it brings back the memories that I have of the church growing up here where I was baptized in 1949. I can remember a lot of detail, a lot of people. In the old church, I remember John and Opal Winland that used to sit over here. And I can remember Lula Nelson and McFarland, Mr. Thomas and them. Uh, I remember uh, Mrs. Smith taught me in school in the third, fourth grade. We had eight grades and four room, and Mrs. Donnelly. I always thought I could get away from them a little bit, but they would be our teachers on Sunday. <laughs> so I never really got away from them. But we had a large crowd of young people. We would sit up here in the front. We would sing in the choir. There used to be a road that came down the side of the church on the right hand side or left hand side if you look at the church that was all gravel no other access around the church in the back part of this uh, the church uh, wasn't that deep it had a big large parking lot and uh, I can remember Fellowship Hall being a place where we had Sunday school uh, very small in the back the choir used to gather downstairs and the kids that was in the choir used to be dressed in the white robes. And we would come up the stairs where it says storage downstairs now. There was a stairway that came right up where my wife's at right now sitting. And that's where they came up out of the basement of Fellowship Hall. One of the most exciting things about Fellowship Hall was a lot of times Herb Walker would have fellowship and he'd bring his canister of vanilla ice cream down and shot. The walkers were always getting their ice cream. And then we had Ollie Niggas. Many of you might know Niggas is dairy. Ollie would bring his orange juice, little bottles, chocolate milk, white milk all the time. And I never got a chance to see much orange juice. But boy, I liked it when Ollie was there because he'd bring that pickup truck around there and all the kids would gather and he'd be passing out those little bottles of orange juice and chocolate milk. It was really great. Then we had a large amount of auctions and we would do some auctions and we had a lot of chickens when I was a little down home and we just bring a little heaps up in little uh, <coughs> cases put punch little holes in them and they'd auction those off little ponies out back kids used to like to ride the ponies and just wanted to take them home but you never did get a chance to take them home but they raised all sorts of funds there we had uh, uh, other than the auction we had the Every Sunday, people just would dress up in their suits and the ladies had their hats on. It was really something. And I can remember down home, there was four, four children. My mother used to put the toast in the oven and toast one side and flip it over because there were so many of us before we came to church in the morning. And we'd hear that bell ring, but before we hear the bell ring, we could hear the train in Barton going through Barton blowing their horn. And then all of a sudden, the church bells would start to ring. It was like a signal, okay, we better get going. So we'd walk up past this way and uh, through the yards. And it was always a sight to see when you seemed like that. At evening, it was always pretty out there. And you could hear those bells on special occasions. They would ring. And uh, we used to have the post office. Westlake's house was right across the road from here. It's tore down now. Uh, but right at the point of 250 and County Road 4 was the post office. <coughs> And uh, before they moved it down here. And we used to come up there all the time. We looked across there, and some of us would pick the mail up and bring it over to the church. And after we had choir practice, we, there was two doors out front. And it seemed like the, the little girls used to run out the left side, the boys would run out the right side. And then we'd all get out there and start wrestling in the front yard. So we always had a great time up here at the church. It was a family place, it was the community place that we came on Sunday, and everybody came. So. Uh, there's probably a lot more I can tell you about the church that many of you probably experienced yourself, but it was just a fun place and it was something that you look forward to on Sunday to meet and greet and say hello and, and talk about the things you've done that day. So I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to share some of my experiences with you. Thank you.